Hello, my fellow skateboarders, longboarders, and freelance skaters. Uh, this is uh, Krishan Trinivasan, and uh, hi to my fellow photographers as well. I'm a fine art photographer, a distance skater, and a small time freelance skater. Yeah, having my caffeine, dose of caffeine. Don't think this is a morning, okay? It's evening. It's about 5.10 or uh, 5.15 in the evening, okay? Okay, you see that? That's the box. Forgot to grab my box cutter. Okay, let's get to the product itself as soon as possible. This video should have been made like an hour before. I was taking a nap as I told you. I'm not done with the coffee yet. It's hot. So, there you go. I uh, hope you guys uh, find it comfortable, you know, there's a little bit of gap at the end of the table. So I adjusted the gooseneck, uh, you know, the uh, mobile phone holder properly, so that it only covers the subject, not the other nonsense which is lying down the table or my protruding dad board. Okay. That's some neat packaging. Like the product itself, and we have the bill. We place the boxes aside. So here's the bill for you to take a look at. Let me do the focusing and adjust the exposure, or give a time for the auto exposure to correct itself. Yes, it's about three hundred and seventy-eight bucks, inclusive of all taxes. Okay. <clears throat> I told before, carbon paper. Let's keep this aside. Get to the product itself. I think it's going to be easy. I'm sure like my shotgun mic with cardioid pattern won't pick up all this noise way too much. Only a little bit of it. So. There you go, guys. That's the bubble wrap. I think it's almost busted. So here's the clip with a tripod boil head. So, okay. So this could be used for several things. You could put a GoPro here. You could put, you know, um, a DSLR here. Looks like it's form. This part is metal and the part where it clips on to you know it's rubber or uh, some hardened plastic not a uh, little hardened plastic with a lot of uh, hardness durometer okay so yeah so that's the clip itself there's nothing much to talk about you have some spring loaded clip plus press that put it there and mount your mic over there okay so for a free for a brief moment let me switch it to gopro so that you will uh, get some idea of what i'm doing while attaching the mic to it okay or probably you might want to forgive me with the audio you can check out the audio of uh, you can uh, notice that that part of the audio is going to come from uh, the mobile phone's internal mic okay and you can see me mount the uh, boya mm1 mic to this stand okay so i'm just lowering the nut or whatever you call that base which helps you tighten it you know i'm just lowering that for now and I'm not sure like where the mic's position is going to be in the gooseneck. So for now, I'll just mount and show you. There is no big uh, rocket signs in that. Okay. I'll pause this video and come back. This part of the clip, you'll be hearing the audio from the Intel mic of the Xiaomi 
Poco F1 mobile phone. So here is the microphone itself with a vibration absorbing stand. Yeah, that's what it is actually. So when it is mounted to the flash mount or uh, yeah, of course this can be mounted to a flash mount. Okay, it has a quarter inch thread, but it can also be mounted to a flash mount. All the vibrations when you walk, you know, it will be neutralized and uh, your mic will pick up only the audio, you know, not the vibrations. Okay, so it's nothing much, nothing much uh, to it. It's just you're going to screw it straight away. There you go. It's ready. Done. If you want to have some extra tight, you can lower that up. Okay, so and now you could adjust the ball head to your wish, you know. And to the direction you want it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's where I want it to be because like I'm going to clip it this way. Oh, oh okay. The uh, gooseneck has uh, this type of uh, arm which has two things. So probably I might want to put this to point where it is where to top okay probably this way you know so when i clip it the boya mic faces me you know so probably this is the way hmm? okay then so i've screwed the mic to the setup and let me put that onto the gooseneck and i'll show you the uh, mobile phone setup and uh, the microphone attached to the mobile phone okay and that's the closure of this complete setup except for there is one more addition which is coming i'll explain why what it is okay peace forgive me this part of the video is being recorded on my gopro which is uh, hero 7 black okay and the audio is also going to come from the internal mic of gopro okay so that's my mobile phone. I have not pressed the record button yet. That's the open camera app running. And it's very open. You could see my hand passing through. Camera is alive. But I'm not recording anything. Okay, it's recorded through GoPro here. You might see a mild flicker. GoPro always picks that up. I couldn't adjust that. Okay. And this is the uh, 3.5 mm TRRS uh, cable running. To the mic which is being sorry i can't help this flicker with the gopro that's why i've not been shooting it uh, osmo dj osmo picks this up a little bit but it's not that much worse like gopro uh, so, uh the dj osmo needs minimum one meter distance to uh, capture the object you know uh, so that's why i'm shooting this part in GoPro I hope this everything that is being shot is in focus right now okay so yeah you see the clip has been put from the bottom to the arm and that slot wherein uh, it's usually in the tripod mean like for uh, shooting panorama shots panorama shots you know so I use that slot to put the mic, bring the mic forward, facing myself, and took the cable and connected to the 3.5 mm jack. Okay, uh, the setup is complete. That's how it looks, and that's how it's tall. And that is the maximum length it can extend to the table. Okay, that's the maximum length it can extend to the table. So table of this size, it's almost to the half, okay. Being a wide angle camera, <laughs> it's almost 35 mm actually, it's technically. So it should cover pretty much a good space, okay. If not, I might have to lift it up from the bottom, put it on the table so that I'll get much more height to the shelf, okay. So that's the setup, huh? It's done. So my worry was like uh, the cable might get in the way of camera, you know, or if I am lifting my hand, if I hit the cable, it might interrupt with the 
audio you know it's pretty much hanging close to the camera okay it might get in the way of camera if i'm going to see that it's pretty close it's very close actually see that so just to avoid that part of thing i've ordered a adapter that goes to the usb c part of uh, the mobile phone and you get a 3.5 mm jack from here on the bottom part and i could be comfortably recording the video with that okay so hope you've got the idea of the setup this is pleasant and neat forgive the little bit of flicker okay i got some quarter cup of coffee there my setup is almost complete um, i may not have this here all the time or i'm going to let it be you know the mic you know it's just the mic and me in the open air i can leave it just like that or i could probably you know remove the mic every single time put that in the concern bag and put that in the dehumidifier which is close by i could do that every single time before i do a recording or i could just leave this permanently here except for the mobile phone and connect it whenever needed i could do either way which way i am comfortable with so for this enter setup to perfectly complete let's do one more unboxing video with the adapter whenever that comes to me okay so and that would be a complete setup so what would be the cost this was around uh, 2000 bucks this is around 380 bucks approx value this mic is around 2000 bucks so you probably most of them are uh, smartphone users these days so depending upon the smartphone value which is being used for filming your <coughs> setup price will go up or less mine is a Xiaomi Poco F1 so on the second sales or an exchange for a new mobile you know the price have come down to 3750 for this mobile phone so it's better for me to keep it rather than exchange it <laughs> okay so that's almost like uh, f uh 4400 bucks in total for the setup okay it's pretty expensive than the one i got on my table but it's very convenient okay yeah all good man hope you guys like this part of the vlog okay i was doing it right after my nap huh anyways thank you so much uh yep have a great day peace